Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I want to do a little uh, knife review because I uh, <coughs> have acquired some new knives in the last couple days, and uh, I'm trying to ferret out the one I want to use for EDC purposes. Um, that's everyday carry for those of you that don't know. Um, I'm kind of a picky knife person um, because uh, certain knives for me serve certain functions um, and uh, I don't generally have like an all-purpose knife um, but uh, I think with an EDC knife I'm about to change that um, I like uh, I generally like uh, knives that don't close um, knives without serrated edges um, but I'm kind of making an exception here because I want to be able to carry something that's comfortable uh, that I could put away without uh, alarming people and you know just have something that I, I just have readily available for you know whatever need may arise where I might need a knife not necessarily just self-defense but for, as a tool um, so, I gained an interest in Kershaw knives, uh, as a result of reading some online reviews and, um, and looking at some YouTube videos, and, uh, coincidentally, over this past few days, uh, uh quite a few of them have gone on sale, and, uh, so, uh, these knives that normally run between... 40 and 60 dollars or whatever I uh, was able to get a hold of for 20 um, a piece and so I got three of them um, they're different sizes and uh, and so they're all in now and uh, I just kind of wanted to uh, to review them and kind of make my selection so now for the unveiling drum roll please all right, so there they are. My three Kershaw knives. Um, get them in here for you. This is the Kershaw Clash. This is the Tremor. And this is the Asset. So, uh, Clash asset tremor um again i paid about 20 bucks a piece for these bought this here at a store locally it was on sale this was the display model it was the last one they had left so i took the display model um these i ordered and they both came in today so um i've had this one since yesterday the clash that's a good looking knife right there um you know these two are very similar in their construction um, you know they uh, they have the glass filled nylon handles uh, they have texture on them for better gripping the texture is different this one has more of a checker board ridge type thing uh, this has more of a ribbed construction um, get this one out here yeah and of course the big daddy there so you can kind of get a feel of the size difference um, the tremor here has actually a different kind of handle it has a uh, textured g10 handle um, but I think the blades are all the same they're uh, bead blasted steel finish um, as you can see uh, the clash and the tremor have partial serrations they're about a 60 40 straight edge to serrated edge um, you know uh, the clash here is the only one with the thumb stand uh, to open it with um 
I really like this knife. Um, probably the best, actually. Um, and I'm going to tell you what I really like about it. First of all, it's the handle. Um, I don't know if you can see that. See, it fits in my hand very well. Um, I like the way it feels. I like this index finger notch right here. And there's kind of a groove here for your thumb. Um, really helps you feel like you're in control of the blade. I like that it has the thumb stand thing. And I really love the pocket clip. That's a good, wide, uh, strong pocket clip. Um, I think it fits my hand very well. I have small hands. Um, and I really like to feel in control of a knife. Also, one thing I really like about it is that the flipper here uh, seems to kind of help keep the index finger from moving forward onto the serrated edges uh, when you're cutting. So, better control and my fingers stay safe, which makes me happy. Um, let's see, this one has a 3 inch blade with a 4 and a quarter inch handle for a total length of seven and a quarter inches. Um, so the Clash is actually a very good knife and probably the front runner for my ADC. Okay, so we move on to the Asset. Again, uh, the Asset has the same type of handle, just a different pattern. Of the blade is a straight, straight edge blade all the way through, which I really like. I, I actually prefer straight edge blades to partially serrated blades or serrated blades. Um, no really rhyme or reason, it's just a preference and I can't really explain it. Um, you can see it still has the flipper. Um, has a thinner uh, pocket clip, um, but it's still pretty strong. Um, doesn't seem flimsy. Um, this I almost feel like I could actually slip off and run my finger on the blade if I'm doing anything. Um, this blade is actually three and a quarter inches long. Um, the handle is four and five eighths inches long. Um, and it's actually a, a longer knife than the Clash. This one is a seven and seven eighths as opposed to uh, seven and a quarter inches so slightly longer knife uh, I like the straight edge um, probably use this for fishing or something I don't know um, and then we come to the big daddy um, it's up here so you can see it um, the tremor the blade on this is uh, three and three quarter inches, so it has the it's the biggest knife, so it has the longest blade. Um, has five and a quarter inch handle, uh, nine inches overall. Uh, weighs about six ounces compared to uh, three point eight ounces and four ounces. So lightest, smallest, largest. Again, you have the partially serrated blade. Um, got the thumb groove here, like that. Um, the index finger, not quite as comfortable. There's a lot of playroom in here for the index finger. Um, this part of the handle, right there, actually fits very well. Um, so I really like that one too. Um, you know, going back to this one, this isn't quite as ergonomic. Um, this one, to me, is more er ergonomic. Um, you also notice that, uh, this is the only knife. The Clash is the only one with the thumb stand, or, you know, you can't see that there. <coughs> no thumb stand. Um... Uh, my only complaint about this, besides this part right here not being as 
nice and tight as it is down here on the clash is the feel of this uh, handle it just feels a little bit awkward I'm kind of sensitive um, I have sensitive uh, it's kind of weird to explain but textures to me are very important and uh, I'm very sensitive to the textures of things this one's not as bad um, and this one it doesn't even bother me at all so you know uh, I've used this one I actually just opened these two before um, making the video and uh, you know this is really sharp out of uh, off the shelf you know I opened I opened this package with it um, and it had you know no real problems actually the uh, asset came in that package and I actually cut through the through the the, the plastic uh, box and stuff that the the asset came in so um, overall I'm pretty pleased with all three knives um, I think you know this one's probably a little too big to do EDC with um, so you know maybe I could use that one when I go camping maybe save this for a camping knife again the way this blade is you know this is probably good for, you could probably fillet a fish with this no problem gut it or whatever so maybe I'll save that for a fishing knife and uh, I'll use this for my EDC I think um, I like that one the best so um, anyway so this is my review of my three Kershaw knives hope you enjoyed it and uh, I look forward to uh, providing more content have a good day. Thanks. Bye.